Hello my soccer universe and it's time for another unpacking video. I have here a parcel and I always say it's special but this one is special in a way from my good friend Matt from Football Shorts for Dementia and just ahead of please make the time follow his channel he is not only very engaging as i always say but he has a really cool uh channel for himself also like mine a little bit of a smaller channel but showcasing selection all kinds of stuff around football shows he's reviewing current ones so really really cool stuff that you should definitely subscribe to and also check out check him out on instagram and finally uh support his cause because he's uh some he's uh, times selling shirts for dementia and it is because of one of his videos that this parcel came about uh he was showcasing i think earlier this year his entire collection and you know he split it up into uh different sections i think these were his club shirts and one of those kind of i looked at it and said hmm that's a shirt that I've been looking uh, for for quite a while and I said great collection that you have I, I, I'm now from memory more, more or less if at any point you think this particular shirt here is not of value to your collection any, anymore please let me know because I have been after this, the, this one but you know um, just let la la lab know we, 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 we can figure it out. So uh, he got back to me rather quickly and I told him why. It's because of a particular Lusk game that this was, and that's why I'm wearing the Lusk shirt here, that this was of uh, value to me. And he said, it's yours. How much do you want for it? No, it's yours. Really? Yes, it's for a memory. And I cannot tell you how I was flabbergasted because it's an idea, but I never expected that. And the generosity of his just beyond. Uh, and I am very, very pleased that I have this shirt. Now there's a second shirt in there that he also said, you know, here's some shirts that I want to let go of. Um, anything that's of interest to you. And yes, I found a shirt that was of interest to me and although at that point i probably shouldn't have i kind of i knew that he wants to have a particular shirt and i could let go from my collection that i'm not revealing now but uh we kind of made a trade so he will get a shirt from my collection which has a similar value to the one from his collection so those are the two shirts in this parcel that we look at we'll do it one by one i actually i probably will do the second uh, the shirt as mentioned second first um as far as I remember, this was also uh, this was from a mystery box video of his, uh, where he unpacked it. It didn't really fit the bill in terms of um, what he asked of mystery company, but uh, he got it for a really decent price. So in the end, all worked out just fine. And so here we have the shirts, all looking good. Okay, shirt number one has actually nothing to do with Lusk, but so be it. However, it is a shirt from a league where this has always been one of my favorite teams. And yes, Lusk beat them way back in 95 in the Inter Toto Cup, <laughs> away from home, which was a big sensation back then. It is Werder Bremen, that's the home jersey from the past season very interesting with the two green tones uh it's an umbra shirt and as i said bremen have always been um a uh, team that i actually liked mainly because they had always good austrian players but also you know smaller town and so on and there is a roland statue in bremen itself maybe the wiesen sponsor wiesenhof sponsor i actually would like to have the with the green energy what i see it so it has very intricate pattern i think there is some seafaring theme to it uh rather rather interesting i'm actually quite pleased with this one this is a really really nice jersey it's a blank on the back lebenslang grün weiß which means uh green white for life so that is the first jersey i actually i'm really really pleased with this one uh there you know there even the bremer stadtmusikanten you know the town musicians from bremen the four animals 
the horse, the dog, the cat, and the rooster. <laughs> there they go. There. Hey, it's really, really cool. It's a, a grim fairy tale. This is a really, really interesting shirt. I am super pleased with this one. Thank you so much for handing this to, 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 to Matt. For me, not only did I always want to have a green Werder Bremen jersey, but this one actually uh, fits the bill quite well. Uh, this is really, really awesome. There's really cool stuff. This will be... I'm looking forward to make a dedicated video about this one sometime down the line. So this is jersey number one. But let's go to the one that has really special meaning to me. And um, let's first things first. When this jersey came out and I reviewed this jersey, and you can find the review here, I actually really hated it. However, the Lusk played this team and got probably the best European result ever since beating Inter Milan in 1984 1-0 at home. A 4-1 over PSV Eindhoven. That was the away jersey that was worn in that match. Um, it is black and orange. It's very Dutch in a way. Uh, however, I really, really like the sleeves because they are... Um, this uh, pattern is more or less the flag of North Brabant. And then it goes all the way around. And you see also there are some patches on there. as the respect patch and then... The Europa League patch coming with it, which makes it even extra, extra, extra special because it was exactly the Europa League that this was worn. And then on the back, it is has even names set with Bruma. I mean, it's about as cool as it can get. Uh, again, I really like the sleeve patterning. I think it has a little bit of wear here. I think it was because here it gets a little bit darker and here as well. But it's a really, really, really nice and interesting yeah i think there is there uh, something went wrong here but you know minor de minor detail i'm really really pleased with the jersey and not only is it a jersey that is special to me because of that famous win for lusk it is also special because now i finally have a psv um away jersey so here they are and i actually added the lusk jersey that they played in when they played against PSV Eindhoven. Now um, on this one, I still have the Champions League patches because special reasons. That was the only time that Lask ever played in Champions League qualification. But I have to say, I am really pleased, even surprised, how cool these jerseys are. They're both really, really, really special. Yes, teeny flaws on the PSV jer uh, uh, jersey, but I have to, have to say it actually looks much better now that I look look at it uh, up close than it was from uh, than it was on my first impression, and you know if the pattern if once the pattern is ex explained it's all cool. I mean I never never was a big fan of black uh, with orange, but it was mostly that I don't like uh, mainly orange jersey uh, highlighted with black, but here it ac actually works. It's probably not exactly PSV colors, but you know, they're from the Netherlands, so I guess it's fine. And the Bremen jersey, um, it's a really cool one. I'm really surprised this actually took me back how well this jersey is. Any case, please let, let me know what you think about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again, Matt, for allowing me to make this exchange and for gifting me this one jer jersey i really really appreciate it i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye